Assalamu alaikum. Another page. We will begin on page 260. No, 286. 286 is Surat al Asra, also known as Surat Banu Israel. And we will read the Arabic first. We will start with verse Ayah 45. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ جَعَلْنَا بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ إِجَابًا مَسْتُورًا وَجَعَلْنَا عَلَى قُلُوبِهِمْ مَكِنَةً أَنْ يَفْكَهُوهُ وَفِي أَذَانِهِمْ وَقْرًا وإذا ذكرت ربك في القرآن وحده ولو على أدبارهم نفورا نحن أعلم بما يستمعون به إذ يستمعون إليه إليك وإذ هم نجوى إذ يقول والظالمون إن تتبعون إلى رجلا مسحورا انظر كيف دربوا لك الأمثال فدلوا فلا يستطيعون سبيلا وقالوا إذا كنا عظاما ورفاتا إنا لا مبعوثون خلقا جديدا قل كونوا هجارة أو هديدا أو خلقا مما يكبر في صدوركم فسيقولون من يعيدنا كل الذي فتركم أول مرة فسينغدون إليك رؤوسهم ويقولون متى هو قل عسى أن يكون قريبا يوم يدعوكم فتستجبون فتستجيبون بهمده وتظنون إن لبستم إلى قليلا وقل لي بادي يقول التي هي أحسن إن الشيطان ينزغ بينهم إن الشيطان كان للإنسان عدوا مبينا as long as the others. So now we're going to get the translation and starting with verse 45. You know, I don't translate all prophets. Because when you read these translations, it will say, when you, O prophet, recite the Quran, we put a hidden barrier. Okay, it does not say, O prophet, in the Quran. So by doing this, it makes some people uh, think that all of this is just to Prophet Muhammad, which is not true. All of this is for everybody, including non-Muslims. They used to say, oh, this is only for, for Muslims, you know, non-Muslims, they can't touch it, they can't read it. For No, this is for insan, but only believers will listen and obey. But you don't know who they are, so why don't you just give it to everyone? Makes more sense, doesn't it? Stop hiding it. Okay, so now, when you recite the Quran, we put a hidden barrier between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter. We have cast veils over their hearts, leaving them unable to comprehend it and deafness in their ears. And when you mention your Lord alone in the Quran, they turn their backs in aversion. Oh, you know this is true when you do. It's so true. When you just say it's only Allah is enough for you, that, that's, they don't want to hear it. We know best how they listen to your recitation and what they say privately. When the wrongdoers say, 
you'd only be following a bewitched man. See how they call you names? So they have gone so far astray that they cannot find the right way. They will say mockingly, when we are reduced to bones and ashes, will we really be raised up as a new creation? Say yes, even if you become stones or iron or whatever you think is harder to bring to life. Then they will ask you, well, who will bring us back to life? Say the one who created you the first time. Then they will shake their heads at you and ask, when will that be? Say, perhaps it is soon. Mm. Soon, perhaps it is soon. On that day, he will call you. You will instantly respond by praising him, thinking you would remain in this world only for a little while. Tell my believing servants to say only what is best. Satan certainly seeks to sow discord among them. Satan is indeed a sworn enemy to humankind. Your Lord knows best. He may have mercy on you if he wills, or punish you if he wills. We have not sent you as a keeper over them. Yet you see how many times I, I always go over this. Islam is freedom. You don't have to accept it. We're not even supposed to press you. We're not supposed to chase after you. We're not Jehovah Witness. We just deliver the message plainly, clearly, and hopefully we can elaborate if you ask questions, but we're never going to stop delivering the message. Don't wait for that, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.